hello. Come on over. I'm working today, but I'll be happy to take a moment and speak with you. My name is Amy Butcher. Remember my name. You won't read about me in your history books, but you should. My year is 1819. In 1819, the Alabama Territory was about to become a state. Everybody here in Hustle is so excited because the Constitutional Convention will be held here. That's when laws are rewritten. And I'm paying special attention to the laws. I need the laws and I need justice. In 1819, most people who look like me in Alabama were enslaved. That means we are held against our will and we are forced to work without pay. But me, I've not always been a slave. No, sir. Mm -mm. I was born a free woman in Prince George County, Virginia. I'd wake up in the morning and go out and just smell the Chesapeake Bay. And when I worked, it was for me and my family and no one else. But freedom isn't always easy. Back in Virginia, a man told a lie that I was enslaved to him, but I wasn't going to let him get away with it. No, sir, uh-uh. I marched myself down to Richmond to the courthouse and I proved that my mother was an American Indian and I was born free. Right then and there, the judge granted that I was free. That really should have settled the matter. My daughter Katie and I went home and we were just living our lives. But then, a few weeks later, another man named James Dow will come here. And he kidnapped me and my Katie and he brought us here to Huntsville. That Mr. Dow, he is a cruel man, I tell you. He holds me against my will, and he sold my daughter Katie away from me. She isn't far. I do hear from her from time to time. I hear my Katie has given birth to four babies. See, that means we've been trapped here for three years. She has four babies now, my grandbabies. I'm not giving up hope, though. Mm -mm. My family should be free. We ought to be free. And I know the law now. Yes, I do. So I'm going to make my case for freedom. And you know, I've received correspondence from Richmond that will prove my case. I will persevere. I will. I'm not going to let anybody intimidate me. I'm going to overcome this unjust system. Excuse me. Forgive me. I let my passion get away with me. I need to keep my voice down for fear that my family will be hurt. I've won the support of many good citizens here. Yes, I have. But then there are some who'd rather see me dead if I push too hard. I need to be careful, not just for my sake, but for my family too. My grandchildren don't know it yet, but they're counting on me. They're counting on me for their freedom. One day, one day we will be free. I don't believe this new constitution is going to help me any at all. But with God's help, and you know, God always helps those who help themselves. So remember my name. My name is Amy Butcher. And even though I'm held against my will, I know how to fight injustice. I know how to fight for justice. I'm going to fight for our freedom.